Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gabelli School of Business ceremony for the 176th commencement at Fordham University. We extend a special welcome to those joining us virtually. For the 75th year, the start of the annual academic procession has begun with the traditional ringing of the victory bell. The bell was presented to Fordham University by Admiral Chester Nimitz as a memorial to the Fordham alumni who died fighting for their country during World War II. The ship's bell is from the aircraft carrier Juno, which served in the Pacific before it was silenced by an aerial bomb at Saipan. The bell was first rung at Fordham by President Harry S. Truman on the occasion of his receiving an honorary degree in 1946. today's academic procession is Dr. Francis Petit, Associate Dean of Global Initiatives and Partnerships. Dr. Petit is carrying the Gabelli School of Business Verge. Liam Howard Doherty, a member of the Class of 2021, is carrying the Gabelli School of Business banner. Next in the procession are candidates for bachelor's degrees from the Gabelli School of Business which is concluding a year-long centennial celebration. The school traces its roots to the School of Accountancy, which opened in 1920 in Manhattan's Woolworth Building. In 1929, a four-year Bachelor of Science program with majors in banking, finance management, marketing, and general business was launched. All undergraduate Bachelor of Science candidates are carrying hoods with a gold velvet border. The Gabelli School of Business Class of 2021 numbers 9, 694 graduates. Today, in the second of two ceremonies for the school, we will celebrate 335 members of the Gabelli School of Business Class of 2021, including class members from the Lincoln Center campus.
Next in the procession are members of the faculty of the Gabelli School of Business, the administration of Fordham University, and members of the Board of Trustees. At the end of the procession are the Dean of the Gabelli School of Business, Dr. Giordano Rapacholi, and the University's President, the Reverend Joseph M. McShane of the Society of Jesus. And now, please welcome Assistant Dean for Seniors, Mario DeFurry, our Master of Ceremonies for the 2021 Gabelli School of Business Ceremony. Mom and Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, Aunts, Uncles, Cousins, Brothers, Sisters, Family, and Friends. On behalf of Father McShane, our President, Dean Donna Rapicholi, the Dean of the Gabelli School of Business, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome all of you to the 2021 Gabelli School of Business Ceremony as we recognize our candidates for degree. Candidates, back in August at the beginning of the academic year, I emailed all of you and welcomed you to this year and said, please be ready and please be prepared. I was really hoping that a good number of you, and I see you have, have understood that this year is not like any other year that you've had before. And no, I'm not talking about you understanding the difference between IFRS and GAAP and FASB or the capital asset pricing model. But I think you've come to understand that all of those things that you've been learning for these years here are being put into practice. And what Dean Rapicholi reminds us about all the time, business with a purpose. So I charge you and I challenge you, take that business with a purpose. Take those things that you've learned here, whether it's accounting or marketing, information systems, management, or finance, take it and bring it into your work and to your life. And do what St. Ignatius taught us to do. Go set the world on fire. This is your time, and we celebrate you today. I'd like to take a moment just to recognize some of our senior administration that's here today. The, uh, the provost of the university, Dennis Jacobs, Jeffrey Gray, um, and uh, Father McCarthy here with us today as well. The Gabelli School of Business has a tradition that before we begin our ceremonies, we always recognize the veterans of the United States military that have served bravely and proudly and have protected us in their careers in the military. May I now ask any U.S. military veterans who are here today, may I ask you to please stand and be recognized that we too may honor you. I'd now like to invite Father Joseph N. McShane, President of Fordham University, to deliver our invocation. Thank you, Dean. Congratulations. Congratulations and welcome to Edwards Parade which, as you know, is your playground, that place where you see uh, all opportunities for frisbee, for snowball throwing and fights, and just for getting to know one another. You have occupied Edwards today. Welcome back to Edwards Parade. Welcome home. It's great to have you here, and I mean that. Uh, I wonder if you wouldn't mind if, before I begin, I recognize two people on the, uh, the terrace, and then I want to speak to your parents. The two people I want to recognize on the terrace, uh, and I'm going to ask them to stand, are Chris and Allison Fitzmaurice. Uh, Chris is a member of our Board of Trustees, a really terrific guy, and he and Allison have a son who is a member of your class. I don't want to blow your cover, but his name is Liam Fitzmaurice, uh, and a wonderful guy. So Chris and uh, Allison, thank you for being here.
And Liam, you'll probably never speak to me again. That's all right, I can deal with that. Now, I, uh, I wonder if you'd mind if I acknowledged your parents right now. My dear friends, parents in the back, I'd like to thank you for allowing your sons and daughters to come to Fordham. I would also like to thank you for allowing us to be the ones who work with you to make sure that they come into the full possession of all the gifts that God has given them. You entrusted them to our care, and therefore, we are all in your debt. They've kept us all young. They've filled our lives with joy. And that means that the debt, the debt we owe you is a debt we could never repay you. I would also like to remind you that in a very real way, you too are members of the Fordham family, not by degree, but by love and by tuition. And so, and so I say to you what I say to our graduates, come back often, stay long, you're always welcome here. And to the graduates, come back, come back often, stay long. You're not even out the door and already, as the Irish would say, we're lonesome for you. I look forward to seeing you at homecoming and all sorts of events in the coming year. And now my sisters and brothers, let us join our hearts and bow our heads in prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Blessed are you for the gifts and graces with which you have filled our lives. Blessed are you for the light of our eyes, the air we breathe, and the sun that warms us this glorious spring day. Blessed are you for the quickness of the human mind and the warmth of the human heart. And blessed are you most of all on this day of solemn celebration for the gift of the Gabelli School of Business Class of 2021. Lord, you sent them to us as students, but they turned out to be gifts, gifts beyond measure for everyone at Fordham. Inquisitive, they mastered the art of the question and used that art, that art to search for the wisdom and learning to which Fordham has always been devoted. In the process, they kept us on our toes. Talented scholars, they breezed through the ground floor, mastered the business core, honed their skills through internships, and consoled us all with their devotion to ethics. Playful and high-spirited, they filled this campus with joy, innocent pranks, and laughter. In so doing, they kept us all young loving companions to one another. They built and nurtured the kind of friendships for which Fordham is rightly famous, friendships that will enrich them every day of their lives. Compassionate and generous, they cared for one another, carried one another's burdens, and gave themselves to the service of our neighbors in the city. Adventuresome explorers, they discovered and dipped into everything that the city has to offer, Night and day they devoted themselves to this work. More by night, I can tell you, than by day. And they rejoiced. And when the world was turned upside down in their junior year, and they saw their senior year change from the easy, lazy victory lap that they had, they had hoped for to a nonstop experience of broken field running, they rose to every challenge that life and a deeply wounded world put before them. They did so with their characteristic creativity, resilience, kindness, and generosity. And in the process, they became far more than merely students. They became teachers, teachers to one another and to us. Passionate, they faced the issues of the day with principled devotion, wise seekers, they questioned deeply and discovered what is really important in life. Virtue, love, service, faith, truth, character. Tempered by the sorrows and the sufferings and the pain of the world, their hearts became more expansive. They grew in their ability to love. A love they expressed not in words, but in advocacy and in service. Confronted with the political polarization and divisiveness of our age, they devoted themselves to building bridges of understanding. 
faced with the violence, intolerance, inequality, and racial injustice that have marked and marred this moment in our nation's history. They became, all of them, champions for the poor and defenders of the dignity of all citizens, and especially the marginalized. In short, dear God, they found their voice. They also found their vocation, the vocation to which you call all of your children, the vocation to be lovers of truth, bearers of light, and agents of consolation in a wounded world. They may have begun their Fordham careers as students, but during their time in our midst, they became first teachers and then prophets who call us to build your kingdom here on earth. Parents, I'd ask you to stand. I want you to join me in bestowing a blessing on your sons and daughters. Please extend your right hand in blessing over them. Most gracious God, we thank you for your tender love in sending these young women and men to us. As they go forth from Fordham, we entrust them to your loving care. Guard them every day of their life. Be their companion on the way, their guide at the crossroads, their strength and weariness, their defense in dangers, their shelter on the path, their shade in the heat, their light in darkness, their comfort in discouragement, that through your loving guidance they may arrive safely at the end of their journeys and enriched with grace and virtue may transform the world that you have wisely placed in their hands. And we make this our prayer and bestow this our blessing in your holy name. Amen. Parents, please be seated. Graduates, come back often. Stay long. You're not even out the door. And as we Irish would say, we're lonesome for you already. Thank you, Father. May I now ask Donna Rapicholi, the Dean of the Gabelli School of Business, to come and address the class. So how are you all? Hey. I'm so, so excited to welcome you, to see all of you, and really to celebrate with you at our undergraduate diploma ceremony for 2021. I want to give a special shout out to the families, the staff, the faculty, the Fordham alumni, to those of you who are watching us virtually. But most importantly, I want to recognize and congratulate the awesome graduating class of 2021. All of us have come so far to be here today. You don't need me to tell you that this has been quite a year. But I do hope that you realize that you've emerged stronger and much wiser. And I'm truly proud of each and every one of you for hanging in there, for literally redefining the nature of college, and most of all, for earning the Gabelli School of Business Diploma that you so rightfully deserve. Very soon, you will be college graduates. So before we send you off as alumni, I want to share a few thoughts with you. The first comes from a psychologist and a professor at the Wharton School. And he writes what I think are great books. His name is Adam Grant. I strongly to encourage you to read his newest book, which is called Think Again. In this book, Grant writes that we should focus on improving ourselves rather than proving ourselves. The statement takes a bit of unpacking because often these things happen at the same time. You can all think of examples that come from your last four years. All of you completed the consulting cup. You identified a challenge facing a real company, and you came up with a solution. During that project, you proved that you are critical thinkers and capable public speakers. 
And you also improved your ability to generate unique business approaches that no one else would come up with. Some of you in the class of 2021 connected with the Bronx community and showcased locally owned businesses. And you even brought a Bronx owned bookstore to campus. You proved that you had the ability to cultivate new relationships and grow revenue for the community. And you also improved yourselves, learning new skills and collaborating to make something great. As you can see, proving yourself and improving yourself often goes hand in hand. And I'm sure you can think of other examples. But the key difference is the purpose. What's the goal? Is it merely to get ahead? Or is it to deepen our understanding, work better with others, and gain knowledge of ourselves? Grant argues that our emphasis should be on the last three, and not just on getting ahead. And if we train our minds on improving ourselves, getting ahead is naturally going to follow. The second insight I'd like to share with you today is don't be afraid to say you don't know. This is something I confronted myself during the pandemic. Do you all know the show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Show of hands. Yeah, most people, yes. Well, you might remember there's a popular feature on that show. It was a lifeline, and it was called Phone a Friend. Well, when I'm uncertain, or someone asks me a question I can't answer, I'll do some research, and then I'll phone a friend, someone who is an expert in the subject, who knows more than I do about it. I'm lucky to have a wonderful network of experts in a whole array of fields. In fact, my 80-year-old mom is still my phone a friend for the life stuff. Well, when the coronavirus arrived, we were facing situations that no one had ever faced before. And people were asking me lots of questions I couldn't answer. You students, the faculty, parents, fellow administrators. And research really didn't help. And I personally so badly wanted to phone a friend. But the honest truth was that none of them knew either. I couldn't use my time-tested approach of asking someone who knew more. So I had to just be honest and repeatedly say the words, I don't know. And through the process, I realized that expressing a degree of vulnerability in saying I don't know actually helped others to think more creatively, feel more open to experimentation, and more willing to work together to solve a problem. So together, we did everything we could to make the right decisions, and we tried again if our first attempts didn't work out. So for all of you as graduates of the class of 2021, when you start your career, I'm happy to say that you will have a lifeline. You'll be able to phone a friend, maybe someone next to you, a colleague, a supervisor, or even a former professor. But at some point in your career, you're gonna run into uncharted waters where there's no one that's a greater expert than you. And at that point, I'll ask you to draw on your Fordham education. Use your inquisitive spirit, your inherent ability to problem solve, your skill at working with others, and your ingenuity. And you will come up with a viable plan, and you will do everything in your power to make it the right plan. And I personally cannot wait to see what you come up with. Before I close out my remarks, I want to point out that each member of the awesome class of 2021 found a special gift on their chair. It's this soapstone ram. This ram signifies the impact that you will have on the world. It's something you'll all have as alumni of the Gabelli School. I hope that you keep it on your desk or in your apartment. I believe it speaks to the business program you've just completed. We could have ordered the stone figures from a factory, but instead, we made the conscious decision to employ talented carvers a continent away who are skilled at what they do. The RAM shows us that even as we part ways, we're still a community, and in fact, 
we belong to an even greater global community. So I hope that the RAM reminds you, as you enter the business world, of the choices that you have. You can choose to do business with purpose. You can choose to change the world. You can choose to be grateful. So I want to ask you to practice gratitude right now. So I'm going to ask all the graduates to stand up and look for your family in the crowd, or picture them in your mind if they're not here. And I want you to thank them for all the support they have given you along the way. So let's give a big cheer to all those who helped us. This is a great moment to recognize that when we do great things, we do them together. So congratulations again on your Gabelli School graduation. As Father McShane said, visit us often, stay long, stay connected. We love to see you back on campus anytime, and you will always be members of the Fordham family. Best wishes and congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Dean Rapicholi. The Gabelli School of Business has a tradition of having a student address the class as well. And today we actually have two, one from our Gabelli School of Business Rose Hill campus and one from our Lincoln Center campus. May I please ask Alexandra Allo to please approach? And I'm sorry, may I please ask Samantha Barrett to please approach uh, and uh, address the class? Sam, you got a name change. <laughs> Welcome to the 2021 commencement ceremony. I first wanted to extend my congratulations to my classmates. In a year that added countless obstacles to pre-existing challenges, we managed to persevere. When I think of Fordham, of the Gabelli School of Business, I think of community. I have been asked why Fordham countless times over the past four years. It took me a while to be able to articulate it. My answer is simple. From the moment I walked onto campus for the first time, I have felt supported. There's a culture here on campus that I like to call the everyone holds the door mentality. Not only does everyone hold the door open for those behind them, but that culture of care and awareness manifests itself in countless other ways, both on campus and off. There is a desire within all those at Fordham, and especially within Gabelli, to see everyone succeed. It is a culture of collaboration, not competition. That has been not only the most consistent aspect, but also the most important aspect of my Fordham experience. Every member of our community is committed to its well being. That care for others, your classmates, your professors, your deans, the alumni, the underclassmen, that is what sets us apart. And that is something that we will never lose. As we exit the Fordham gates, whether that be in the Bronx or at Lincoln Center, may we always remember that we are a part of this community and that each of us contributed to the unique supportive culture that Fordham has. I encourage you to bring that support with you to the next community that is lucky enough to have you. It's been a joy and an honor learning and growing alongside all of you for the past four years. Congratulations, Gabelli Class of 2021. May I now ask Zach Hijar? from the Lincoln Center campus of the Gabelli School of Business to please approach and address our class. You're clearly the man. Thanks. Hey, everyone. So, um, I'm 21 years old, uh, with very little life experience, talking to other people my age about life uh, in three minutes. So let's, um, let's see how that goes. 
I want to share three things that have had an incredible impact on me and that I think may be relevant for anybody listening uh, without any fluff. So let's do this. The first thing I learned is the power of initiative. We're taking the leap and just making that first step towards something can end up being the best decision you ever make. And like everything I'm going to be talking about up here, it can apply to anything. It could be making that networking call. It could be signing up for that new experience. It could be sending that first DM to that special person. It could be volunteering to help someone. It could be sending in an application to a place that you feel like you don't have a shot at working at, and then starting to build relationships with like 20 different traders until you find yourself sitting next to them every day. How many children of immigrants are in this audience? Nice. We are living in probably the best and most secure time and place in all of human history, even coming off of a pandemic. It's likely that your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, and so on, lived a life where they were focused on surviving, so that you here today might have the opportunity to do more than that and thrive. This is where I want to thank Fordham and every member of the faculty that I had the pleasure of meeting and every single person who I have not met yet for taking any initiative any of us have showed and paying it back and then some. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The second thing I want to talk about is motivation. Motivation is the fuel for your sustained initiative. Why? Um, because for the last month, uh, I've been getting up before the sun rises and going to work and coming back to my apartment long after the sun has set. And that is going to be the way things are going to be for a while. And maybe some of you out there have a job that you're starting uh, and you're nervous. Um, maybe some of you are still searching and you're feeling fatigue. One thing I think all of us have in common is that we just finished four years of this. And I'm pretty sure that we're all feeling at least a little bit burnt out. So where does motivation come from? I think a lot of places. I have met people who cared so deeply about righting the wrongs in the world around them. Individuals who care about building a future for a family. People motivated by money, status, ambition, helping others, even motivated by spite. If anything is going to motivate you in your life, I hope you take a breath to think about what it might be. And I hope it is a motivation to do something good. Whatever gives you that push to get out of bed in the morning, I hope it's fulfilling. And especially after Zoom University, I hope it is not a deadline. For anyone still looking for roles or paths after today is over, I promise you there is a light at the end of that tunnel. And finally, um, at the end of the tunnel of this speech, I want to talk about the singular most important thing that the world has taught me so far that I hope to share with you. And that is the impact of kindness. Yeah, I'm serious. If this is the only thing that you take away from this, uh, and if this is the last time that we ever see each other, I hope that this is one thing that stays with you. Always remember the power of helping others. Because there isn't enough time up here for stories, but I think you will know what I mean when I say that you never really know what someone is going through. This is where I want to thank my family, my roommates, my girlfriend, my friends, my group mates, my classmates, my professors, to everybody who showed me kindness and helped me along the way. I hope I was able to pay back some of it. I hope I can spend the rest of my life paying it forward. And for all of you, I hope that you find ways to pay that forward in your own lives. The world is often kind to those who are kind to it. Each and every one of you is absolutely incredible, and I never, ever, ever want you to forget that. I've said it before, I'll say it again, and I hope I say it for the rest of our lives. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Thank you. Well, Zach and, and um, uh, Samantha, thank you both for your very wise and insightful comments to our class. Before we announce the names of our graduates, the Gabelli School of Business is very proud to have a tradition, and that is one that we affectionately call legacy. And that is that the Fordham legacy of a Jesuit education continues on with the new class. Well, here today, 
We have many family members of the graduating class who received a Fordham University degree from one of the many Fordham University schools. Candidates, yes, this is your day, and on it we celebrate your accomplishments. And your accomplishments have come after your parents, aunts, uncles, and your relatives have also come here. Well, they pass that legacy of a Fordham Jesuit education now on to you. May I therefore ask the alumni of any Fordham University school who has graduated with a Fordham University degree to please stand that we may recognize you and honor you. Alma Mater Fordham's pride continues from them and now into you. Well, it is that time. And it's that time that I'm going to ask the marshals to begin to line up our students uh, one row at a time, and we will be doing this from the bottom of Keating Steps. As our marshals uh, have our students and gather our students, we will note that our first degree today will be in the name of Matthew Putra Augang, one of our classmates who sadly passed away at the end of last year. Matthew has graduated magna cum laude from the university and has been awarded the Rachel Ragone Award for the unity of heart, mind, and soul. And now, graduating from the Gabelli School of Business at the Lincoln Center campus. Anna Paskovich, Summa Cum Laude, Magis Award, and Global Ambassador Award, and Senior Leadership Award. Julia Dominique de Xavier, Summa Cum Laude. Margo Elise Reed, Summa Cum Laude, Magis Award and Alumni Chair Award. Marina, Maria Elena Carvalho Vega, Summa Cum Laude, Magis Award and Global Ambassador Award. Eric John Wiedenberg, Summa Cum Laude, Homenes Pro Aliis Award. Vasilios Livanos, Summa Cum Laude. Laura Marsico, Summa Cum Laude. Kristen Michelle Harb, Summa Cum Laude. Stephanie Mahalia Pramwadi Burchell. Nishita Naga, Cum Laude. Ben Guo. Emily J. O'Brien. Robert Anthony Strichik, cum laude. Diego Roman Oliverio, summa cum laude, Majest Award. Tristan Pierre Dupuis. Adam B. South. Casey Nicole Gelsomino, summa cum laude. William Andrew Bruce, summa cum laude. Andrew Michael Beecher, magna cum laude, Jimenez Pro Aliis Award. Armando A. Sandoval. <laughs> Catherine Morrison. Rashmi Singh. Michael Francis Finnan. Bridget Murphy Fong, summa cum laude. Hannah Grace Davies, 
Juan David Hernandez Corena, magna cum laude. Ethan Hashem Shamim, summa cum laude, Jamenez Pro Aliis Award. Kristen Grace Lindrud, summa cum laude. Ali Alexis Marie Centeno Torres. Zachary G. Hajar, summa cum laude, Majus Award, Dean's Award for Excellence. Alyssa Faith Grimando, summa cum laude. Hope Barker, summa cum laude. Michael J. Perry. Charlene V. Anaya. Minnie Chen. Kelly Wong, magna cum laude. Chi Ying Wei, cum laude. Yong Yong Chen, magna cum laude, Majus Award. Fiona T. Louis, magna cum laude, Hamanez Pro Aliis Award. Resham Sansi, magna cum laude. Claire O'Malley Griffin, cum laude. Rui Ma. Rayon Mao. Christian Harry Kuczynski. Dennis Ostan. Luis Daniel Navarro. Angelo N. Solis, summa cum laude. Julia Butler, magna cum laude. Dar Fuchs, summa cum laude. Hamanez Pro Aliis Award. Alexander H. Gardner. Amir H. Falanban. Kea Proko. Enzo Persic, magna cum laude. William Tai. Verdan K. Gupta, summa cum laude. Rafid Ahmed. And now the graduates from the Rose Hill program. Peyton Turner. Oliver Bauer, magna cum laude. Kimberly Ann Kisis, summa cum laude. Isabella Shenovsky, summa cum laude. Vincent Chula, summa cum laude. Nikolai Kaptan. Raymond, or John Raymond Stibe, summa cum laude. Michael P. Burke, summa cum laude. Cole Valedictorian and Finance Major Academic Award. Richard Ma, summa cum laude. Liam Bear Fitzmorris, summa cum laude. Jonathan Mitchell Joseph, Summa cum laude. Abhishek Purohit, summa cum laude. Henry Richard Forgi, summa cum laude. Alexandra Margaret Bailey, summa cum laude. Riley Ann Leftzinger, summa cum laude. Daniela A. Rossi, 
Magna cum laude. Nicholas Zermatidis, summa cum laude. Catherine Ann Himelo. Eric Cow, summa cum laude. Ryan Anthony McGraw, cum laude. Patrick Norioko. Dylan Siriono, cum laude. Grant L. Hastings, summa cum laude. Alexander Mamo. Jonathan F. Keegan, summa cum laude. Laura Ann Tapipa, summa cum laude. Jacqueline Cotapitis. Elizabeth Rose Benito. Elizabeth A. Martin, magna cum laude. Lena Jane Perez, magna cum laude. Emma R. Flipinski. Graham M. Ramsea. Jonathan Lawrence Wang. Connor A. Lobezetta. Jacobo Delara. Nathaniel Lee Gunther, cum laude. Australia Valentina Aguilar. Alyssa Ann Ioko. Samantha Rose Levy. Luca Fava. Bennett L. Silver, Silver, cum laude. Joel Zolfi, magna cum laude. Samuel Marquise Pillot. Joseph Stephen Burns, cum laude. Daniel George Smith. Zachary P. Morfogan. Thomas Whitaker. John Sinero, cum laude. Michael J. O'Neill, Jr. Christian M. Corrado, magna cum laude. Olivia J. Ator, cum laude. Karen Regan Downey, magna cum laude. James Rosato, magna cum laude. Donald R. Dugan, the third. Kieran Joseph Conley. Matthew Hugh Wynn, summa cum laude. Michael H. Pear, magna cum laude. Matthew P. Tiber, magna cum laude. Michael Stephen Russo, cum laude. Gregory Angelopoulos, magna cum laude. Eric Moiko. Joseph Fraschella, summa cum laude. Nicholas Stivaletti. Hey, 
John McCauley, cum laude. James Otomanelli, cum laude. Colin M. Bell, summa cum laude. Anne Olivia Russo, cum laude. Julia Grace Condren, magna cum laude. Kathleen Mary Keene, summa cum laude. Owen J. Wilkins, magna cum laude. Brian F. Lennon, magna cum laude. Alexander W. Tambarge. Kevin P. Dennehy, summa cum laude. Christopher G. Wilds, summa cum laude. Christopher Duke. Brooke Weir, cum laude. Victoria L. Reddy. Alexandra E. Ditch, cum laude. Emma Sheehan. Julia Page Herms, magna cum laude. Michael Matthew Santangelo, cum laude. Nicole Delu. Theodore Stratus III, summa cum laude. Xu Yao Lu. Eric Kenneth Berent, magna cum laude. Connor Gilbert Vonderai, cum laude. Matthew Gennaro Lengua, summa cum laude. Garrett Howell, magna cum laude. Ethan John, summa cum laude. Matthew Patrick McClellan, summa cum laude. Ryan Sophie Smith. Alexander T. Bettenhauser, magna cum laude. Dana Coleman Cicchetti, magna cum laude. Victoria L. Schauer. Christina Deer. Philip Horgitz, cum laude. Madison Carr, summa cum laude. Kelly Conheny. Hope Simpson, summa cum laude. Treyer M. Musselman. Christopher T. Child. Brendan Daniel Riley, cum laude. Lauren Ann Goldblum. Thomas J. Cook. Sean Witte, summa cum laude. Nicholas H. Pignataro. Thomas Albert Austin. Robert F. DePippo. Emily Zerpoli. Jack Dalton Summer. Matthew Joseph Murto. 
cum laude. All right, go ahead and start walking across. Raleigh Poduye, cum laude. Amy Boyle, summa cum laude. Mia Isabella Kroger, cum laude. Hey, Mia. Daniel R. Ahern, cum laude. Kyle Damaray, summa cum laude. Casey James Potters. Liam Doherty Howard, summa cum laude, co-valedictorian and finance major academic award. Caitlin M. Brosen, summa cum laude. Alicia Chung. Lauren A. Kiffer, summa cum laude. Ethan Goodchild Ortiz, summa cum laude. Dylan J. Tierney, cum laude. Grace Elizabeth Wellman, magna cum laude. Jillian Morgan Jacome, cum laude. Aida Marie Tani Tanian, magna cum laude. Diana Farrell, magna cum laude. Catherine Pop, magna cum laude. Erin Kathleen O'Rourke, summa cum laude. Allison E. Stouffer, summa cum laude, Magis Award. Carmen Kahlo, Amanis Proalis. Justin Ross Tucker, cum laude. Hannah Rose Cassin. Sean Michael Leary. Oops. Erica Santos Payez. Julia Rebecca Feiner. Michael Arturo Moreno. Benjamin Cornell Summers, magna cum laude. Vivian Yang, magna cum laude. Clarissa Claudia Samuda, magna cum laude. Frank Adipitro. Joseph Mosha, Patrick J. Bellardi, Patrick William Viancourt, Christian Joseph Maltempi, Julius Charles Heffler, cum laude. William Zubin Meyer, summa cum laude. Alexander Sperandio, summa cum laude. Ryan Reap. Jonathan David Linsencombe, magna cum laude. Julia Marie Stusnik, summa cum laude. Jessica Waluk, cum laude. Emma Fenton, cum laude, Cura Personalis Award. Hannah Natalie Kilroy. Audrey Tompkins Johnston. Bridget Eileen Poole, summa cum laude, Cura Personalis Award. Emily A. Benevento.
Stephanie Daly. Yes, Charlotte Erin O'Neill. Caitlin McMichael, summa cum laude. <laughs> Carolyn Grace Terrell, cum laude. Jenna, Jenna Kathleen Magno, magna cum laude. Jennifer Bridget Elbers, magna cum laude. Sydney R. Kroll, magna cum laude, Majus Award. Victoria Lords Munoz. Kayla Eliana Moore, magna cum laude. Alexa C. Sackinger, summa cum laude. Haley Munsami. Akansha Takur, summa cum laude. Rachel Glenn Pluckett. Woo! Regina Sandoval, cum laude. Cameron Chuli, summa cum laude. Woo! Samantha Mills, magna cum laude. Edward August Lucano. John A. Griffinetti, cum laude. Jacob William Joseph Deatley. Maria L. Colosi, cum laude. Catherine I. Cuchera, cum laude. Marissa Rose Moran, summa cum laude. Alexandria Elise Tiso, magna cum laude. Samantha S. Barrett, magna cum laude, Dean's Award for Excellence. Peter Burquest, summa cum laude. Joseph M. Myers, summa cum laude. Griffin Daniel Fitzgerald, summa cum laude. Luke Walker Bow, summa cum laude. Jessica Lauren Lemley, summa cum laude, co valedictorian, and marketing primary concentration academic award. Rachel Ashlyn Coyle, summa cum laude, accounting and social innovation primary concentration award. Haley S. Forsblom, magna cum laude. Serena Bu Ann Budris, magna cum laude, Majus Award. Catherine Ann De Laurentiis, summa cum laude. Madison Page Burkhart, magna cum laude. Nicolaus Kutsalas, summa cum laude. Frank J. Peralia, cum laude. Nikhil Sundaram, magna cum laude. Lujetta Kosovic. Ariane Renz, cum laude. Anya Pelkola. Haley Reynolds, summa cum laude. Vivica Ebert Call Jr. Alexander M. Lai. Brett William Taylor, cum laude. Adam P. Gohare, cum laude. Austin John Ramsey. Bryce Daniel Bolison. John Dardis, magna cum laude. 
Lucas K. Daniel Patrick McGowan. Patrick Robert Wilson, magna cum laude. Michael Gerard Agoglia, cum laude. Aiden P. Cohane, cum laude. Nicholas Demare Russo, cum laude. Jack P. McConaughey. Dominic M. Guslani, summa cum laude. Eamon Ospina Garga, cum, cum laude. Patrick W. Strauss. Nicholas Raymond Lehman, cum laude. Spencer A. Krell. Maxim David Denemy. Matthew R. Garg. John Paul Moran, magna cum laude. Christopher R. Baccia. Michael Romolo Mesh, cum laude. Antonio N. Clinko. Tyler Gennaro DeLuca. Hannah S. Adams. Michael Gregory Rinko, summa cum laude. Christopher A. Alford, cum laude, Trailblazer Award. Alexander Joseph Palmieri, cum laude. Anna Colette Basic, cum laude. Heaven Marie Henry, cum laude. Mohammed Mazar, Malgus, Malgus Award. Yannick Alphonse Rimpel. Chirayu B. Shah, Alumni Chair Award. Robert Maximilian Quintas. Abigail S. McGuire, magna cum laude. Amanda Elizabeth Carpi, summa cum laude, Applied Accounting and Finance Major Academic Award. Laura T. Kunkel, summa cum laude. Sophia Ray LaMonica, summa cum laude. Michael Bijan Scampato. Brendan R. McCarthy. Eric Thomas Chin, summa cum laude. Matthew Brogue Burden, summa cum laude. Emma J. Dorman, summa cum laude. Kendall Carrick Cornwell, cum laude. Catriona Lynn Wilson, cum laude. Aisha S. Avdiu. Alice Chai, magna cum laude. Redmond Jerome Chan Ang. Isabella Direndi. Julie Kathleen Dunan, summa cum laude. Juliana Marie Chernick. Catherine Elizabeth Dowson, magna cum laude. Sean E. Blaney, cum laude. George W. Bryan. Eric J. Wilson, cum laude. Charles C. Decas. Anthony James Russell.
Christopher M. Lakari, Jr., summa cum laude. Sinead Margaret Brady. Liam Edward Prendergast, cum laude. Thank you. Sophia Pullett, cum laude. McKenna N. Lahr, summa cum laude, Business Economics Primary Concentration Academic Award. Hope Baisley, summa cum laude. Maura Claire Holst, summa cum laude. Sage Bingman, cum laude. Catherine E. McLaughlin, magna cum laude. Raylene Kwiatkowski. Thomas Salis. Charles Spalito. Emmett Matthew Cornetta, magna cum laude. Neil Patel, summa cum laude. Sashin Balkaran. Manuel A. Henriquez. Rael C. C. Patel. John Christopher Walsh, cum laude. Randy Arias. Nicholas Samuel Maya. George W. Frank IV. Ryan F. Hudson, cum laude. We did indeed give them a round of applause, but I think this group deserves two. So if we can, let's give our graduates a round of applause. In just a minute, I'm going to be asking Father McCarthy to come and to deliver the benediction. But before we do that, we would like to have our photographer here take a picture of the class. And just please note, you'll remember this several years from now. Oh, I wish I did this. I wish I did that. Why don't you all stand up? Take off your hats. Don't throw them. Take off your hats. Hold them up. Big smiles. And on the count of three, we're going to take that picture. Are you ready, Mr. Photographer? One, big smiles. Two, three. Thank you. Father McCarthy, may I ask you to please deliver the benediction? Let us bow our heads and pray. You go now into a world that is in long recovery. May you yourselves speed that recovery. You go now into a world that deeply needs healing. May you yourselves be sources of that healing. You go now into a world that thirsts for justice, May you yourselves promote justice in everything that you do. You go now into a world that longs for joy. Remember then joy. After a long winter of loss and languishing, remember joy. The joy of active life, the joy of touch, of families gathering, of smiles broadening without cover, the joy of sharing space, 
of constructive citizenship, of common celebration, the joy of working together, of chance meeting of a colleague over coffee, the joy of grandparents sipping iced tea with their grandchildren on a spring afternoon, the joy of shade on a sunny day. Remember joy, be joy, spread joy, and may God bless you, who have always been the joys of your family and who shall ever be the joy of Fordham University. Amen. Thank you, Father. In a minute, I'll dismiss the class. But please note, just as Father McShane had said before, you're not leaving here, in a sense, because we'll always be welcoming you back. So just as we're about to cue our, pro our processional music, and I'll ask our marshals to get ready to escort our students straight out uh, through, through the back, I will say to you, that as the class is now dismissed and requirements are met, I'll also say that we welcome you back as alumni with open arms and always welcome back here at now your alma mater. Class is dismissed. Of technology. Yeah. Well, you can sing it. <laughs> so I'm being told to tell a joke. My wife, however, tells me all the time to keep my day job when I do tell jokes. So it'll probably be a second as the, the processional music uh, starts up. Um, I would say if anybody does know how to sing Alma Mater Fordham, it would be great to do it. I've already embarrassed myself a number of times. I don't want to do it in front of the whole class. I believe in Yeah, Mike believes in me, but Alma Mater Fordham, there we are. There we go. I ask you to do it quickly before the music goes out again.